Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Tuesday, September the 6th. Today is the day we return to work, and that seems like we were gone forever. It's really weird how in 10 days we've, like, created a whole new ritual on how we do things, how you deal with the dogs, everything. It's weird. Even that Sasha, she's, like... Don't understand why she's uh, being put in their their pen thing over there. They got plenty of room to roam in there. It's not sending people to put their dogs in cages. Like what the heck? But anyway, um, it was 39 degrees this morning. It's 52 now. What a swing. Anyway, back to the old grind. Bummer. Well, we got to do it. Morning. You guys see him down there? Oh, can't hold the camera still. That's a long ways to zoom. Don't go down the road. Yeah, just go across. Mommy, he's, he's getting big. Look at that. 71 and sunny. It's amazing. 39 degrees this morning. I'm sitting in a parking lot at 71. I know it. Just a couple hours later. Yeah. Wow. Four hours. I think even in Toledo, it's supposed to be 85 today. Yeah. Lord only knows what it's going to be here. Yeah. Well, Mama. It's a hubba. Vacation's over, yeah. officially, because we are now sitting in the parking lot of our workstead. Yes, we are. <laughs> 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 oh, within an hour. Yeah, within an hour, it'll just be old school. Yeah. Don't even think about it. I know. Be thinking of when the vacation's coming next. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, Mama. All right. Have yourself a wonderful day. You too, sweetheart. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye bye now. Bye. A 2022 S1000RR. So it was on my schedule today to uh, put fork seals on it. But, uh, so I get the thing on my bench, go upstairs, the parts are there. Look at that, somebody just went through and had the gate open for me. So I'm looking at the forks and I'm like, dude, I've done probably thousands of fork seals in my life. And uh, this thing doesn't look like, I don't care how good this guy's been cleaning it, assuming. Um, there'd be residue. It blows back in a way you can see fork seal leaks. So, uh, anyway, before I take this thing apart, I'm very suspicious of this thing. So, I use these, uh, little plastic, they're like body trim tools you can use, and, uh, knock the, uh, the dust seals off. There's no clips or anything holding the dust seals on these things. And, uh, Anyway, pop them off, pull, knock the right one off, take a photo of the inside of the dust seal, because they're inverted forks, so the dust seal would literally be full of oil. And, um, hmm, it's dry. Okay, that's interesting. What the heck's going on here? So I go to the, uh, and there's no residue anywhere. So I go to the uh, left side, same thing. It's bone dry. So, when they assemble these things, um, we used to be able to get it from Suzuki. I don't know if we still can. It's called uh, Super Grease. Now, whether that's what BMW uses or not, I have no idea. But we always use this stuff called Super Grease. And it was great for fork seals. And uh, allowed everything to go together well. And it gives the seals something to live, live on for a while you know until everything seats in you know but it leaves a residue and you'll notice on most new bikes that first several rides if you don't clean it off you'll notice that there's this ring almost like your fork seals are leaking well you'll notice if you were to feel it with your fingers it's kind of a kind of a grease not a wet oil and um, 
anyway that's just that grease for assembly and the fork seals if you buy OEM seals key OEM um, you'll notice that they're um, the grease is actually pre-installed it's actually in the groove of the seal just be careful as you're installing them that you don't knock it all off because you can you need to be careful putting fork seals on anyway there's tools for sliding those things on so you don't damage anything use what you need to use don't be messing around with them things the seals are not leaking it, it was probably the residue and um maybe this one just had too much on it or something i didn't see it before but uh yeah she's good and the service writer says well he'll be happy about that because i guess he's got a track day this weekend or something we can go out there and take her on the track like you should be doing with something like this and we'll be racing around the streets this guy talked me into uh taking my cbx out to the to pir he goes come on down and he gave me something like honorary thing or something i don't remember if it was open practice there however that all worked out so i showed up well the rest was history. Did that for almost 10 years. A lot of wiped out bikes, a lot of wiped out leathers, quite a few helmets. <laughs> it was fun. Really fun. We won some championships and local stuff. But uh, yeah, tons of fun. But the key thing, what that did as we when we went out to Willow Grove the other day Kelly and I I was briefly talking because that was one of the roads that I used to race up and down all the time and um, hey that just one of many that was just up the street from my parents house so that was really easy to get to and play on you know but at any rate once us the gun that went out to the racetrack and you go down a few times because you're pushing it you realize when you fall with relative frequency you know because you're you know trying to be well you want to beat that guy <laughs> and uh you realize just how easy that happens and you know guys uh losing motors hitting their oil um yeah different things like that you learn I'm in a totally controlled environment when I'm on that racetrack there's nothing for me to hit I mean there's some of them tracks there are some sketchy spots and there's trees off the side but it wasn't in an area where you go off you know because I race cars there and everything else but um slowed me way down on the street got real smart and run into people that you know, he used to be out there running and stuff. He goes, Smoke, don't you miss all the road racing? I'm like, you know what? Not really. That was a time in my life that was fun. I was daring. But uh, yeah, I really have no desire. I, I've done enough stupid things on motorcycles to last several lifetimes. I don't need to go out there playing no games anymore. <laughs> This thing is hot with that shield shut. Come on up, you noisy old thing. Oh, mighty that helmet's loud. You know, I say that, but my uh, my home shoey, that thing started to get quite noisy too. I need to take it apart, clean it, and lube it. <laughs> These things are, I don't know what they are. 200 and something. I think they're 209 horsepower stone stocks, something like that. I, I'm sure some BMW enthusiast will very quickly correct me on anything like that. <laughs> I'm taking RR down the back alley. Watching you truck. You're rolling up kind of quick there, buddy. You know what's nice about these things? Is you can ride it like a, like a kit. You don't have to go buck wily on it. Although that <laughs> radiator's blasting that heat on my feet and that's hot. 
Yeah, it's alright. That's just the way these type bikes are. But if you go real fast, they don't get hot. Because <laughs> you're not running slow and the fans are blowing. But when you ride these things, you just sense the... Whoa, I'm not going to take my normal uh, alley today, am I? Let's just go a different way. So, one of the things I was going to make a, a point of and didn't get to it, you know, that penny rolled across the floor and I go, ooh, look. But uh, when you clean your fork seals, like you got, you know, build up of whatever, now if they're leaking <laughs> oil, you need to address that, you know, sooner than later. But, uh, you know, eventually they get dirty. Well, we have people that'll take, uh, or even see that residue, especially when your bike is new. And uh, they'll take contact cleaner and, uh, and clean the fork tubes off. Oh, dude. You can do that, but before you push that fork tube or that tube actuates at all over the over the seals or the seals over it, um, the best thing to use, absolutely the best thing to use, is a fork fork oil. Just wet down a like a microfiber shop towel, or whatever, and wipe the tubes down with fork oil. Now you can use something to wipe off the excess. Don't leave them wet, or you're gonna, you know, especially if you did it to a customer, you'll freak them out. But uh, wipe them down with fork oil. You probably got a bottle laying around somewhere. Wipe it down, and then just make sure. I mean, you can don't dry it off, but wipe it off. You know, with like a microfiber or something. I just take a corner of the microfiber, stick my finger in the bottle, tilt it till it gets wet. I wipe the tubes down, I let it sit on there for a little bit, and then I just take the other end of the microfiber and just wipe it off. So there's no residue left on it, but the key is you don't want to dry it. But the reason you don't want to uh, dry them off, like contact cleaner, or alcohol, whatever, is uh, if you were to look at them fork tubes, even though they're shiny and look so good, um, they're slightly porous ever so porous and uh as them fork seals are going up and down they're constantly looping the tubes well if you dry them completely off contact cleaner is one of the most famous things people do it with they'll uh the first time them seals roll over and then the lips of those seals are like little microfiber kind of sharp where they'll roll over them dry seals and they'll try to fold or they'll you'll burn them the, literally the it's so dry that the rubber is like squeaking on those on them tubes and you're eating them i don't know if that guy already has been in or what yeah, wipe them down with the uh, best thing to use is fork oil. I'm sure you can use something else, but I just use the fork like this one. I clean the uh, assembly grease stuff off of there. And uh, with the dust seals down, wipe them down with the same BMW fork oil that's recommended for this thing. And uh, then wipe them off with the other side of the microfiber. You know, use a real soft rubber mallet, tap the uh, dust seal back in, and... I'm riding it now because I know I'm going to leave a little residue on there and I'm going to not dry it. I'm just going to simply wipe the tubes off. Ah, my. It is some kind of warm. I don't know what it is. What is the BMW? Oh, he doesn't have that turned on. So anyway, I'm going to roll this thing in. Wipe the tubes off doesn't have fork seal problems he'll be able to go to his racetrack this weekend he'll be really happy about that all right awesome motorcycles and yes you can ride them slow you don't have to ride them like a crazy man but all that's in there though <laughs> should you be willing on a racetrack so i brought this thing back 
after the test ride. And if you can see, it almost looks like it is leaking fork oil. But I'll flash up a couple of pictures here to show you how dry it was. So I had the dust seals down, slide them to the bottom, and then I took a corner of the rag, wiped up around the seal area. So the oil, when I slid up, was between the oil seal and the dust seal. So I knew it, this would produce some residue. So don't use, don't use contact cleaner. Definitely don't use, well, I don't have it out, brake cleaner. Just take a clean microfiber. Swap my hands here because I can't do anything left-handed. Just a clean microfiber. And just wipe it down. Just simply wipe it. The microfiber is not going to clean the oil out of the little porous areas of the uh, that's in the fork. If you were to look at that at a, with a microscope, you'd see there's millions of little holes and little honing marks and everything else. So just simply wipe it down. You know, and after you do oil them like I did, that will uh, that will create some residue. And you don't want to immediately freak the customer out. Go, I told you they were leaking. But if you look at those pictures closely, freeze frame them, um, you'll see the assembly grease. And it's kind of white, sort of. And that's inside the seals. The seals are covered with that clear looking uh, grease. It's like super grease type stuff. But uh, yeah, it will definitely leave residue. You'll notice on your new motorcycle, shows up a lot. Check it out. That's my two Metzler ME 888s for the uh, for the iron. The old iron is gonna be rolling on new rubber for the first time in nine years. <laughs> and they're both uh, built um, late 21. I guess that's close enough. The way things are, you're probably lucky to get it that new, huh? <laughs> All right, cool. Well, hello there, YouTube. This is a change. It's it's like 83 degrees out here at, I don't know, quarter after 20 after 7. It's warm. And look how low the sun is. It's going to slip away. Yeah, I think 740 is our sunset tonight. Man, you notice in, in the 10 days that we were gone, going back to work, the different levels that the sun is, going to work and coming back from work, I'm like, can't change that fast. Well, it's that time of year to start slipping yeah. really, really quick. Big chunks. Yeah. But on the reverse side of that come, you know, next year, you're really glad of those big chunks of daylight being added. It's really nice. But yeah. You got that crazy winter down in the bottom, you know. Oh, well. Just that time of year. Mm -hmm. It's just like you have two different, like, worlds when you're up here. There's that winter time, and then there's the summertime crazy but anyway we rattle on about stupid things like that forever i think we're gonna roll out on you <laughs> you're such a crazy man. i know all righty well thank you guys so much for watching we really do appreciate it we will talk to you tomorrow same smoke time same smoke channel don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you guys have an amazing wednesday or thursday heck yeah <laughs> You missed your calling, weatherman. Yeah, yeah. All right. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Bye-bye yes. now.